We've got some real level security. We've got some Power BI desktop, a little R server, and would you like to win one of these? Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this week is special because it's episode number 52. That means we've done 52 weeks of roundups. That's a year. And what better way to celebrate that than to give something away? And I've got some shirts to give away. This week, we're gonna give away one shirt, and I'm gonna have some instructions later on on how you can win that, so stay tuned. First up on the list is a blog post from Reza Rad where he looks at how you can implement dynamic security with row level security inside of Power BI. So row level security is now available inside of Power BI desktop to configure. And he looks at how you can use the username function to actually control dynamic security based on the user itself. This is true row level security. He walks through how to enable your model to support dynamic security. And it's just really a useful blog post to go through if you have no idea how to do it. So if you're interested in dynamic security and using row level security inside of Power BI, check out this blog post. Next up is a blog post from Patrick LeBlanc where he looks at the KPI visual inside of Power BI. I've heard a few comments from people saying that the KPI visual doesn't display the right information. Patrick's heard about that too and he talks about why you may think that. And he talks about how the KPI actually works and he gives some examples inside of his blog post. He also makes use of Power BI Embedded so that you can interact with the reports in the blog post so that you can see what he's talking about. And if you wanna download a copy of what he did, he's got a PBIX file that you can download and try out for yourself to understand how that KPI works. So if you're curious about the KPI visual in Power BI, check out this blog post. Next up on the list is the June 2016 Power BI desktop update. And this update contained a lot of cool things. Some things I found interesting, one is the shape map visual. This visual is different than the existing map visual in the sense that it doesn't portray exact points on a map, but it's more about comparing regions. And not in the preview today, but coming is indicated that you'll be able to use your own custom Esri shapes for this visual, which is awesome. A lot of people are asking for that. Also, you can filter on slicers. So you can actually search inside of the slicer itself for the item that you want. As mentioned in one of the previous items in this roundup, RLS has been moved to Power BI Desktop. So that means that you can actually configure your roles and your rules, your DAX expressions, inside of Power BI Desktop. So that means when you publish your PBIX file to Power BI Service, your roles won't get lost and overwritten. So they travel with the actual Power BI desktop file. I'll have a link down in the description below that talks about the actual row level security functionality. That's the official documentation for row level security so you can see how you can go through and set that up. There were other updates with regards to data connectivity as well as the query experience. So be sure to check out the blog post to see all of the updates that came with the June 2016 release. Okay, let's talk about a little R. That's right, we've got some R updates with inside of Power BI. So you can create your R visualizations inside of Power BI Desktop, and now you can use those visualizations in the Power BI service itself. This is huge. So you can actually take advantage of full R capabilities inside of Power BI. A couple of things to note is that in order to use the visualization inside of the Power BI service, you have to have a pro license and the R visualizations are not supported in Power BI Embedded at this time. So be sure to check out this blog post if you're interested in R and you wanna see how you can actually use it. There's an example PBIX file that you can download so that you can begin playing with it. Okay, which item was your favorite this week? Go ahead and select that in the poll up above or leave it down in the comments below. Also, I didn't forget, if you wanna win this shirt, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite Power BI desktop feature is and why. And I will select one at random to win a shirt and I will reach out to you and we will get details to get the shirt to you. As always, the links for all the items I talked about are in the description below. And if you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe for more great content. Every Thursday, I take a look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.